I'm uh, Dr. Desi Moodley, the CSO of Edelweiss Dentistry. Today, I will be talking to you about the latest innovation in CAT CAM technology. That is the latest um, single face glass block from Edelweiss Dentistry. So where does this glass uh, CAT CAM block fit in with the other CAT CAM blocks on markets? Earlier on, we had the pure glass ceramic blocks these were highly aesthetic glass box, mainly composed of uh, felspatic glass, but they lacked the strength and therefore was not used for posterior load bearing areas. We then had the particle infiltrated ceramics like the lithium disilicate. These were much stronger than the glass ceramics and they also had good aesthetics. But the problem with these were because of the stiffness or the low fracture resistance, they would chip and fracture. The attractiveness of the resin composite blocks were that ease of manufacturing, as well as it can be repaired easily in the mouth itself. But these resin composites lacked the strength of particle infiltrated like the lithium disilicate, as well as the aesthetics of glass ceramics. Because of these failures or shortcomings of the current CAT CAM blocks, Edelweiss has a new CAT CAM block that combines the properties of all three technologies. In other words, it has the aesthetics of glass ceramics the strength of the particle infiltrated ceramics, as well as the ability to repair in the mouth with a little a bit of resin. So this is the latest breakthrough in CAD CAM technology where it compiles all three technologies into one single block. That is the glass ceramics, and re reinforced ceramics, as well as resin technology. So for the first time in CAD CAM technology, we see a single block that contains all three or the properties of all three technologies. So what does this, or what is this Edelweiss CAD CAM block all about? Firstly, the Edelweiss CAD CAM block consists of two types of blocks. The first is the Edelweiss T block and the Edelweiss C block. The Edelweiss T block that is on your right hand side are the extremely or highly translucent block resembling that of natural enamel. Whereas the C blocks are the high chromacity blocks ranging from beta shades A0 to A3. So why two types of blocks? Firstly, for ease of use, and color matching, the chroma blocks can be used, as said, ranging from A0 to A3. This is pretty straightforward. All the dentist needs to do is choose a color or shade matching, and then take the appropriate Edelweiss CAD CAM block. Whereas with the T block, these are extremely or highly translucent enamel blocks resembling the natural enamel, and the color then is chosen by the dentist itself to, um, based on the cement that they're using. So with the T-block, the color of the final rest restoration is determined by the cement that is used. So for example, if you want a outcome of A2, then the cement that you choose is A2. If you want a A3, then the cement that you choose is an A3. So for the first time, the dentist now is in total control, control of the final outcome of the shade matching. So once the shade has been matched, then based on the tooth color, you can adjust the shade from A0 to A3. So it can also be individualized because of the total translucency of the enamel or the T-block. 
it can be individualized to mimic whatever you want to do from the tip. So this can be done either through internal characterization or external characterization. So with regards to external characterization, any external resin stains can be used. For example, the optic glaze can be used and you can then obtain, for example, in these fissures, if you want a little bit of whitening or you can have a little bit of the mottle defect that can be easily incorporated into your final restoration. If you want some of the pits to be a little darker yellow or even the fissures to be darkened, that can be easily done with these external glazes. If you want the neck of the tooth to have, for example, a little darker shade that can be easily painted on, light cured, and then you have a darker shade. So for the first time now, this can be done in the mouth itself. So the dentist has this option of manipulating the shade based on the actual clinical conditions. Internal characterization can also be done with Edelweiss effect shades. So this can be done, the, the final outcome can be manipulated from within the restoration cell. For example, if you want a little halo effect on the inside, you use a little bit of the effect glue. This gives you that little halo effect and can be done from the inside of the, or within the restoration itself. So besides the optical properties, what about the physical properties of the block? So the mechanical or the physical properties of a block is determined or dental material is determined firstly by the composition of the material itself, number one, and also the chemical bonds, that is the ionic or covalent bonds that holds these elements together. So that determines the actual physical properties of the material itself. Then the stability of these bonds, how stable are these bonds will determine whether there are defects within the material cell. So voids or defects within the material will be determined by one, the stability of these bonds, and number two, the actual manufacturing process itself will determine whether we have voids or defects within the material. So let's look at some SEMs of some of the materials that are available nowadays. This is another company, CAD CAM block from another company. We'll call it CAD uh, company B. And uh, with this study, we've looked at without polishing, all we did was remove the block from the packaging and placed it in the, mic in the scanning electron microscope. And this is what we found. And uh, on the surface itself, lots of irregularities, a large piece of uh, possibly a glass particle then, and lots of voids as well, and defects within the surface itself. This is a 3000 magnification. Then if we looked a little closer, we found that a spicule of some glass type of present on the surface. Now, and also lots of voids. Now, with these voids, because of the, the voids, this can eventually start taking up stains. And so after some time, you'll find that the restoration may stain because of these voids present on the surface. This is a larger magnification of this actual spicule. And if this lies on the surface and if it detaches, of course, it's gonna leave a void or a defect within the restoration itself. And this can cause some staining later. Uh, a, a higher magnification at 10,000 times can easily identify this spicule of course, there's lots of voids and defects within the material itself. But as I said, if this detaches, which I think it's loosely attached, can break off and leave a large defect on the surface itself. And um, this can eventually cause staining. It can even cause um, a possibility of fracturing at that point uh, through some occlusal forces. Uh, company C, again, yeah, we see lots of irregularities on the surface. Once again, I must say that this has not been worked on as it came out of the um, blister pack placed on the microscope, electron microscope, and this is what we see. Very irregular surface and lots of spicules lying on the surface, even voids and defects on the surface itself, okay? Higher magnification of the same thing, a large defect here, yeah? voids present, lots of spicules, and irregularities on the surface. 
the same company, company C, there seems to be some outgrowth of spicules lying on the surface. And these can possibly chip out later, um, leaving defects that may cause staining or, or, or a fracture. Again, a higher magnification, 15,000 times, large defects on the surface, voids present there, and this can easily take up stains um, uh, through usage. Compared to Edelweiss, this again was not worked on as it came out of the package, we placed it under the microscope. This is 1,500 times. It seems to be a pure glass with maybe just small defect there, but generally uh, a smooth, clean surface. If we look at it at a higher magnification, at 3,000 times, similarly, no defects present. It just seems to be a single glass face present on the surface. At an even higher magnification of close to 8,000 times, again, pure glass, single face present. Now, because of the absence of any voids or defects, this Edelweiss cat can block is not going to take up any stains because there's no defects of voids on the surface itself and uh, therefore no chance of any um, accumulation of stains through usage. I also looked at the surface roughness through, through the use of a profilometer and I compared the Edelweiss CAD CAM block to pure glass. Uh, this is a horizontal line and of course the, 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 the needle bobs along the zero line, meaning or indicating that the glass is an extremely smooth surface. If we looked at the Edelweiss uh, um, CAD CAM block, again, the needle just bobs along the zero line, indicating a very smooth surface. So the, it, it indicates to me that the surface of the Edelweiss seems to be almost glass-like, um, extremely polished surface, indicating that they will be devoid of any stains later. Uh, if I looked, when I look at the elemental analysis, what is the composition of the Edelweiss CAD CAM block? This is what we get. So highly, uh, high amounts of silica and barium glass. So mainly the main component is silica and barium glass, indicating a pure single phase, uh, a single glass phase. It has aluminum oxide for the strength. And then you have zinc oxide uh, for antibacterial properties, and then also contains fluoride, um, again for antibacterial, as well as should any um, uh, remineralization take place, this can be done through the hydroxyapatite fluoride release or uptake. Then the small amount of carbon that is representing the resin portion of the uh, block, it contains a small portion of resin to give you that little flexibility and the ease of repairability in the mouth itself. So we looked at, when, when, when designing this block, we looked at what are the actual requirements of a dentist? What do the dentists want or look for when um, using a cat, cat can block? So the first thing we looked at, they want ease of color match. In other words, can they easily match the tooth with the block? So the final restoration and the tooth shade of color should be easy, uh, easily matched. Number one. Number two is how stable is this color? Five years down the line, would this color still be stable? Would it start taking up stains? With regards to the Edelweiss, because it is mainly a single glass phase, the color stability devoid, uh, the, 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 the Edelweiss cat can block is devoid any, of any defects and voids. So it is quite stable in terms of uh, uh, color stability. What about color matching? How easy it is to match the color using the Edelweiss system? The especially with the translucent blocks, because it resembles enamel, the final shade outcome is determined by the dentist himself or herself. The whatever shade you want, the dentist wants, can be adjusted through the use of the cement. And also it can be further individualized 
through external or internal stain. So for the first time now, the actual color match is in the dentist's hands. So color match and color stability is one of our requirements um, uh, to satisfy dentists with the Edelweiss CAT CAM block. What are the other requirements that dentists wants? Ease of cementation. And once cemented, we want a good margin adaptation. And once we have a good margin adaptation, that will be devoid of some margin ditching. With regards to the Edelweiss system, the cementation, the cement itself and the block is, has the same composition. So whatever composition the cement is, is found in the block itself. So there is no mismatch between the cement and the block itself. Because of this, you would not get any marginal uh, defects or there wouldn't be any marginal gap, uh, devoid of any sub-margin uh, uh, margination. Uh, this was a five-year study recall, chipping around the margin. Now this would not occur with Edelweiss system for the simple reason is that the Edelweiss cement or composite and the Edelweiss bonding system is the same composition as the final Edelweiss cat can block. So there is no mismatch between the cement and the uh, cat can final restoration. So this works as a single or a monoblock system. So we have only one phase interface now because the restoration and the cement becomes one unit and the only interface left is the tooth and the restoration of the cement. So because of this monoblock system, this resin portion and the restoration becomes one single unit because with the Edelweiss resin, the composition of the components is the same as the Edelweiss restoration or cat can block. So this becomes one single unit and because it is one single unit, there would be no submargination or submargin ditching as, and therefore there would be stain-free margins eventually. The other advantage of having it as one single unit is there will be no mismatch in color between the resin cement and the restoration itself because it is the same material. So what about in terms of marginal leakage? We've tested the system using a chewing simulator together with thermocycling and this is what we found. A perfect bond between the tooth and the restoration on both the enamel as well as the denting side with no uh, marginal leakage. Other requirements with regards to what dentists want from a CAT CAM block will be the, uh, the ease of repairing should a fracture occur. With regards to the Edelweiss system, because we know from our SEM studies, the blocks are devoid of any fracture, uh, uh, defects or voids, the chances of fracturing is very slow. If it should occur, because we have a resin portion within the system itself, it is easy to repair within the mouth itself. And this can be done by simply roughening the surface with a diamond pair, the fractured portion, and then applying some Edelweiss bond onto this fractured surface, light curing that for 20 seconds, and then applying the Edelweiss composite to get a uh, proper cement, uh, to get a proper uh, restoration uh, repair. Because the composite, the Edelweiss bond and the restoration itself have the same components, the join between the actual repair and the restoration cannot be seen. Preparation guidelines with regards to Edelweiss CAD CAM system is same as for all other systems. In other words, there should be all rounded margins and, uh, in the, the cavity floor itself, as well as any sharp angles it should be rounded off. There should be no acute angles in the restoration material itself. And of course, the minimum uh, thickness should be maintained 
uh, as with all other CAT CAN systems. So once the shade has been matched and preparation guidelines should be all rounded and uh, again, as similar to what you would use with all other CAD CAM systems. The Edelweiss um, bond is applied to the inside surface of the restoration and light cured. With regards to on the tooth side, that will be etched with phosphoric acid, uh, similar to the normal etching procedures. Once that has been rinsed off and dried, the normal dentine bonding agent applied to the tooth surface, left on there for 20 seconds. On the restoration itself, the Edelweiss composite is applied as a very thin layer and then gently inserted onto the tooth surface, a removal of excess material firmly pressed into the, or seated into the tooth itself, and then final light curing. So let's look at some of the clinical cases that have been done here at our head offices here in, uh, in Austria. This was a case with large defective restorations um, as well as uh, some curious margins. This is what it looked like once restored with Edelweiss T blocks and color matched using the appropriate composite shade. This is what she looked like in the anterior region. And this was the final result. Again, T blocks were used, Edelweiss T blocks were used, and color matched using the appropriate composite resin. Another case that was done, again with T blocks and the appropriate uh, composite resin used. Similar, uh, similarly, another case, this was done using uh, A2 shade uh, to get a final outcome, A2 along the margin and A1 um, along the incisor there. So with the Edelweiss system, it can be very easily matched depending on, on, on how you want your final outcome. So you can use a bit of A2 in that region and A1 in this region by simply adjusting the composite restoration itself. Another case, old defective margins and old uh, uh, inlays and onlays, these were all replaced using the Edelweiss system. Uh, that's what it was before, and that was the final result. Uh, from a lateral view, beautiful margins, and there would be no unsightly margins because there would be no mismatch in terms of color or shape between the restoration itself and the cement. So you would not see any cement line uh, present with the Edelweiss system. So to conclude, what are the benefits of having a single glass phase system? And a single glass phase, the higher the glass uh, in uh, the uh, content in the composition of the cat cam blood results in more translucency. But as we increase the amount of glass, it leads to some brittleness so or weakness in the material itself. So we need to have some particle uh, incorporated into the material itself to increase the strength. Then the importance of having a glass face is having a, a good bonding or adhesive bonding to the tooth structure. So with regards to the Edelweiss system, the Edelweiss system is mainly made of silica and bearing glass that gives you a single glass phase for aesthetics. Then aluminum oxide is added to this material similar to a, a particle reinforced ceramics to give you this compressive strength or highly improved compressive strength. Then a small amount of resin is kept to give this little bit of flexibility within the material itself. This allows for ease of manufacturing process there will be no chipping around the margin itself, as well as it can be easily repaired in the mouth. The other very big advantage of the Edelweiss system is that it has zinc oxide nanoparticles as well as fluoride. Now this is unique to the Edelweiss system. This makes it biocompatible, no accumulation of plaque 
in the materials or on the surface of the material because of the zinc oxide nanoparticles that is antibacterial. Then you have fluoride that will allow for hydroxyapatite uh, remineralization. Uh, and where does this come from? This comes from the actual manufacturing process itself. How did Edelweiss incorporate all three systems into a single block? And that is a breakthrough in cat -CAM technology, combining all three technologies into a single block. That is combining a glass ceramic, that is felspatic uh, ceramic. In the case of Edelweiss, it's silica and barium glass, combining that with aluminum oxide to give it strength and keeping a little bit of resin for that flexibility. So for the first time, we see now in cat -CAM technology, a combination of all three technologies into one single block, the Edelweiss cat -CAM, uh, Edelweiss cat cam block. That is combining glass ceramics, that silica and barium glass, reinforced with aluminum oxide to give it strength, but a little bit of flexibility with the resin technology. So it combines pure glass, particle reinforced glass, uh, ceramics, together with resin technology, all into a single CAD CAM block. So let's look at a video presentation we did recently uh, on the launch of this device CAD CAM block. The uniqueness of Edelweiss CAD CAM blocks is the manufacturing process. And it all comes down to this tried and tested vitrification and laser sintering process. What actually happens through this vitrification and laser sintering process is the individual glass particles, which is mainly silica and barium glass, are fused together to form the solid hybrid glass material, uh, giving this highly aesthetic properties. But the problem with this highly glass material is that it can be a bit brittle. So we have retained a little bit of resin in it to give the slight amount of elasticity within the material itself. So now for the first time, we have a CAD CAM block that has the best of both worlds. We have a CAD CAM block that resembles the aesthetics of felspatic glass, but at the same time has the resilience of a composite material. So we now have optical properties that are matching a uh, felspatic glass, but having the strength and the resilience of a ceramic as well. So what are some of the advantages? What's different about the Edelweiss cat -can block? Firstly, it is highly aesthetic, purely because it is a single glass phase technology. So it resembles the enamel or the natural enamel itself, giving this lifelike appearance. Then it is strengthened through the use of aluminum oxide, as well as the glass itself, gives it that extra strength resembling that of your particle filled glass ceramics. Then the cementation itself is a, a simple, uh, a single monoblock system where the cement and the restoration itself has the same composition. So there will be no difference between the cement line and the restoration itself, providing a perfect seal without any ditching or staining at the margin. It is biocompatible because it contains zinc oxide nanoparticles as well as fluoride in it.
because it has a resin portion in it, the milling time itself is much shorter than many of the other cat cam blocks on the market. It is also much kinder, it's much easier, it just feels a little softer during the milling process. Therefore, your milling burrs would last much longer. In addition, no additional firing process is required. Once milled, you simply need to remove the attachment point and polish and cement. Because of this, it's much faster uh, to mill an uh, Edelweiss CAD CAM block, therefore resulting in a cost-saving uh, procedure and reduces your chair side time. Thank you very much for watching this webinar presentation. Should you have any questions, please contact me at the Edelweiss offices and I will be glad to answer any of your queries. Once again, thank you.